day today. We're not extremely busy, but there's about 30 work orders for this property. So I thought it would be a good day to, to get back to the vlog. So we're just gonna knock out some work orders today. Let's get it. That'll probably be the easiest work order I do all week, maybe all month. I'll take it though, not a bad way to start out a Monday. This is causing a low water level, looks like. These flush towers are about 20 years old and they easily crack. I found a little trick at this particular property with the hot stuff glue. The back of these crack and with this hot stuff glue, I can just glue them together and glue it back. It's waterproof. It will hold up. I've seen some of these that I've went back on seven, eight years have gone by and they're still holding strong with no leaks so i just put a little bead around the flush tower and then hit it with the accelerator all the way around give it about 10 seconds to dry and then the tank can be filled back up as you can see here the fill is not going into the flush valve which won't fill up the toilet tank well so I'm just gonna swap it out real fast with a new one just looking down the flush tower to make sure no water is leaking in and our hot stuff glue repair is good So that's definitely loose and I can see how it would spray out, but it's hot stuff glue time again. It's gonna save quite a bit of time as I don't have to run back down to the shop and get the fill valve part to put on this tower. Grab the accelerator. That ain't going nowhere. Yes. So this motor was working upon arrival. I'm holding it in my hand right now. It's extremely hot. I think if I just clean this up, slap her back in, she'll be good to go. Water glue. Waste to use Yeah, Wait. 
better than it was. Not a bad start to a Monday. Every fix so far has been pretty easy. It's lunchtime now and it's time to get some energy drinks and whatever else this gas station has to eat. Ingus bacon, cheeseburger, completely cracked. There's water in there. I think I can find another one of these. Oh. And here's where the lint's coming from. There's the lint complaint. Just gotta rinse this off. I got another one where the lid wasn't busted. I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. Took a toilet brush to this and scrubbed it real good. Now some may, some may look at this and be like, that's too much work, why not just replace the washing machine? Well, you have a fair point, but this is basically free to do and new washing machines are pieces of Remove all the screws from the back of the dryer. So this next one is an aquatherm and when the air conditioner runs it is still getting hot water to the aquatherm which is messing up the cooling part. I shut the valve, the hot water valve off so it would work through the summer with no issues. My problem is there's water that keeps circulating through the aquatherm. Now I checked the taco pump taco pump whatever it is not running i even unplugged it and water still runs through my boss the 
area maintenance manager wants me to install a trap with this PV with this PEX. He thinks it's getting siphoned and he thinks this might solve it. So I'm gonna install this as kind of a way to break that siphoning if that's what's happening and we'll see how that works. If you guys think I'm an idiot for trying this, let me know in the comments. Well, both lines are cool. So the knob broke and it just kept turning. So I gotta find another plastic knob to put on an oven that gets hundreds of degrees hot. I found four knobs off an of old whirlpool. They don't match, but they may work. Let's try it. Can't believe that worked. Gotta go help out a buddy. Says the washer water is not starting. It's a new install, new washer. And he swears the water is on. He said 100%. So let's go check this one out. Here's our water valve control. We have no power coming out of that. So I think this control board is bad from the get-go. Way to go, GE. Well, gauge is hooked up. We have zero PSI. That's awesome. And Got around 14 degrees subcooling. You want to kind of overcharge it just a tad. Since it's at zero, it's going to leak out anyway until we can get back and repair this leak, wherever that is. All right, it's about 520, a little over my normal working time, but that's okay. I really enjoyed hanging out with you guys today. Um, made my Monday go by much faster and it's kind of something to look forward to. I think I might do the vlog again tomorrow as there's some interesting work orders that need to get done. And I'm gonna start fresh with a bleak search on that unit and see what it takes to repair it. I'm not a good, I hate doing um, gas and goes. It's not how I roll. But sometimes I know in this industry, that's the only way we can roll because, you know, they don't always give you the, you don't always get the manpower or skill set to complete tasks that they want done. Anyways, thanks again for watching. See y'all tomorrow.